<laughs> so we don't really speak in front of crowds that often. We take classes all the time, and we film live, and we do everything on YouTube. But having like a live audience audience is so. It's, it's a little different. Like normally it's a screen with little words. Or <laughs> Um, just remember, we can hear you guys now. So when we teach class, whenever we have anybody in front of us, we actually always start with a toast. Yes. Um, <laughs> so we always do a little something that we normally do right. for right. newcomers. Right. So everybody here is a newcomer. But we do want to ask Lisa and Scarlett, JJ, Clara, Linda, right? Is that it? Ray, Brandon. Come on. Did you just invite everybody up? Yeah. <laughs> no, y'all, that's all right. So, anyways, we always start Mixed with. Mixed Media toast. Girl, Mike, Mitch, Bronson. Are you really good? Mm. Oh, we yeah. Can't the whole room on this. Come on, Lisa, go. Yeah. Get, up there. Get up there. Go, go, go. go. This is why we're here, you guys. Go. This is why we're here. It's that man and all of these people right here. Like, and if I drop an F bomb, I, I I'm so sorry. I I promise I won't. Yeah, we're live. So with that said, I know I know you don't drink. I'm I'm literally shaking right now. I hope that I don't spill this. But we do a shot of Fireball. Hey, hey, you got it. There you, yeah, iced tea. Yeah, this is iced tea. <laughs> and we completely, I know Mitch and you guys, you guys don't drink. Scarlett, you're amazing. Um, is it Kim is here? Is that you want to come up? Um, Dana? Diane? Dana? She's recording. Okay, there you go. You know what we're going to have to do? I'm no. I'm doing a Here's the Stone Coat countertops. Here's some everybody here. We appreciate everything you do. We love you guys. Cheers! Cheers. 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 Sippy, sippy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. There you go. Welcome to the fam. Don't be a dick. There you go. Okay. All right, that's out of the way. So, what do you guys it's just know? tradition. You don't have to drink to be an artist. Yeah. Um, so, we're probably gonna have like pictures floating through these. I'm not I'm a presenter. I'm not official. I'm not for this. Really? Um, all I can do is tell you guys our story. I'm here to say that everything that all the other presenters said is true. It works. And um, people ask us all the time how we became artists, and I had a grown-up job for a long time. I was in corporate sales, I did traveling, I ran 32 hotels for a long time. And one day Jeff was like, why are you sitting in your car that long? I love it, let's do it. <laughs> He was like, why are you sitting in the car that long? Why are you wasting hours of your, your life, of your week, of your day? And I was like, I'm not sure. Because I need money. Um, I have bills. And he was like, I believe in you. You can do this. Right on. All right. Bye. And that's something that I feel is important. To have someone that believes in you. Yeah, Tell your story for me. No crying. <laughs> no, I was in a I was in a really bad funk when I met her, and she turned it around 100. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you find somebody that believes in you, just give it back. She did it. We're here now. Oh yeah. Thank God. Woo! 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 Respect your partner. Believe in your partner. They'll give it back back to you. Right. So, okay, I'm good. With that said. So, um, people ask us all the time how we met, and um, it's kind of a funny story. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. I'm going to tell you most of the story. Um, I met Jeff at a nightclub. He's an awesome dancer, and I was like, I challenge you. 
And we danced, like we like broke da break danced, broke dance. Break What's dance. the past tense? I don't know. We're break dancing. It's science. And um, we started talking, and I was like, "So what do you do?" He was like, "I'm an artist." I was like, oh, "That's cute. No one makes money with art. You have to be a deceased." Italian to make money <laughs> at artwork. No one pays bills with art. Yeah. So it was like, okay, so you're like a trust fund baby. Like no. your mom pays your bills. No. He was like, no, I like I paint and you know I make money. I was like, so you're hit by a UPS truck one day and now you have a settlement and then also you paint. He was like, That's no, I, I literally, I paint a painting and I, if someone likes it and I sell it and that pays my cell phone bill or that pays my car payment. And I was like, we can be friends. That's legit. And I kind of kidnapped him one day. I was like, let's go paint, let's go paint. Because I have a degree in art. It's ceramic, so it's not really what we do. Um, so we went and painted, and um, I, he always says that I almost kidnapped him. I feel like she, it was a, uh, just about an uncomfortable thing to where I told her, I said, why, why, you, why do you want to paint? Why do you want to paint? She's like, because I like to paint. I'm an artist. I said, okay. I thought she was just trying to... Kidnap you? Yeah, kidnap me. <laughs> so we go to this spot. It's a place called uh, the Free Wall. You can spray paint, do whatever you want. It's a huge industrial place. And she's like, I got some supplies in my trunk. Got a little nervous. <laughs> so, Open the trunk and it's full of canvases and spray paint and paintbrushes. And, and then I thought I was gonna get a shot from a taser and pushed in and I'm out of here. That would be it. And, she, and we got out, we got all the stuff out and I thought, what is this person doing? Like, I'd seen one piece from her that she'd done. It caught my attention, I liked it. She started spray painting. I asked her, how long have you been spray painting? Like, what have you been doing? What have you done? She said, it's my second time. And she painted a sea turtle on a piece of driftwood. Like it was like a, it was hideous. I'm like, who, who sent you? What are you doing? <laughs> I was like Batman, like, who sent you? <laughs> like, what? Never. Never would I thought, like, I was, we became friends, basically. We were, instantly friends. I'm like, you're, you're going to be my friend. Mm -hmm. Under the circumstances at the time, she had to be my friend. Just my friend. <laughs> so, um, we became friends and we talked a lot and then we, we had so much in common and we started dating and we moved in together and that's when we got to the point where he was like, why are you wasting your time in a car all day? I was like, well, maybe I could paint. I couldn't like sell it. And he was like, do one painting. We had a show coming up. She had a show. It's the Deep Elk Arts Festival's biggest show in Dallas. It's actually coming up in like this weekend. Yeah. We're missing it because we want to be here with y'all. Yeah. So um, it's, it's this Friday. <laughs> that was our first show together and it wasn't even that. Like I painted one lip piece. And you'll see it flip through here. It's all the colors. It's a lip piece. And that's what I wanted to paint. And he was like, let me take it, let me show it. And I was like, who wants to see my artwork? There's an artist here. Like, that's what they do. Why would someone want to see what I do? I'm a novice. And he was like, you need to do it, you need to bring it. And I was like, I have no confidence in myself, but whatever. If you want to take it, let's take it. And then someone wanted to buy my artwork. And I was so blown away by it. And he was like, you need to do another one. I was like, Okay, there's not two crazy people out there that want my artwork. And that one sold. So the first one I sold was like $150. It was not, it was not this big, but like maybe half this big. Um, not really, it was like... this big. So someone bought it and I, was, I painted another one. It was slightly bigger and charged slightly more and then... 500 bucks. Um, then my third piece sold. It was a 48 by 48 lip piece for $1,500. So I bought my hour for 15, I, I paid my rent on one painting. And I would never have done it without confidence that he gave me. And, and it's just great to have someone to believe in you. And community is important. 
and all of the people that subscribe to our channel, we call them fam, because you have to have that. And having a community, which is all of y'all, is important. I digress. Um, so anyway, so it's sold. And I started doing research on other types of artwork. And I found, like, red, no, it was acrylic pouring yeah. in the beginning. And I was like, I was in a corner of our studio, like, pouring paint on this canvas. And he came over and was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm doing a pour, shh. It's, shh. It's important. And it's going to work. It didn't work. And, uh, <laughs> me so much mud. And, um, he was like, you're wasting all the paint. But then he tried it, and, and it, he did an amazing thing, and then I kept researching it and kept doing research, and YouTube opened my eyes to resin, eventually. We got to resin, and um, I started asking people, can you help me? Can you tell me one thing that you wish you'd known when you started? Just one tip. You don't have to tell me your secrets. You don't have to tell me, like, something that you invented. I don't care about any of it. Just one, like, one thing. You could have told me, Make sure you mix it completely, and that would have helped me, because the first two things I did never said. <laughs> I, I, like, I put a pot, like, they didn't, he had, I kept it for three months. Like, I had a blow dryer on it for three months. I was like, this is going to work. Too many calls, Erica. I couldn't wish it to work, but I tried, and um, I had to throw it away. Um, so I wish I had known some things. So I asked all these artists. I asked 50 artists, both like in Dallas and online and on YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest. I, I did all the research. I asked all the, the best that I found. And not one person gave me any information. I was like, this is so dumb. Do you don't have to figure it out first. We had one person slam a door in our face and said, even my janitor signs an NBA. I was like, Okay. Like, okay. It was ridiculous. So I was like, fine. I'm going to learn about myself, and I'm going to tell as many people as I can everything that I find out. And so we started the channel. And people started watching. And it was the most amazing thing because I made my mom watch when she like, was mom. drinking her coffee. Right. We had two. And maybe my sister too. Um, but people started watching. People started learning. And the fact that I could help people to overcome any disability or therapy issues or um, they're stuck in bed because they had a surgery and they just want to paint or yes. they broke their right hand and they're right handed so they want to, they can't paint like they used to. But so that took their, their therapeutic outlet away. And pouring kind of gave that back to so many people, but nobody would share anything about it. So it was kind of intimidating because resin's expensive. Paint is expensive. Canvases are even expensive. Everything about what we do can be pricey. So I was like, if I can do all of the tests, if I can do all of the products, if I can just show people how to do it and take the intimidation factor away, then I can help people. I can help all of the people. All you have to do is watch and I will tell you everything. I, we, I wasn't in it to make money, but turns out if people invest in you as artists or as a friend or as family, they'll watch. They'll, and it costs nobody to watch a video. It costs nothing to me to make it, but doing that has given us like a diversification in income. I think it was that word right. Diversified in income. It is. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I um, try to explain things sometimes, but it's as I understand them, so it's not really science. It's just science. So that's where that came from. <laughs> it's how I understand it, so it's how I can relate to people, and so that's how I call it. Um, so um, doing that has given us so many friends. All of the loud people in here are fans. <laughs> I don't have PowerPoints. I don't have Chris sound effects. Yeah. I don't have the. I was hoping we could get a door slam when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> that awesome. I don't have. I, I don't have all those things. But what I do have is the want to help people. 
and that want gave us the niche. We have heart, right. And so that gave us the niche, that gave us the foothold into YouTube to make money off of what we love to do. Giving information isn't hard to do, and I try to inspire people every day. I want to educate, inspire, and entertain. Even if I fall off a chair during a video, which does happen, <laughs> even if I set my studio on fire live, which has happened, I just, it, it educates and entertains at the same time. I'm sure a lot of people laugh at me. I had someone send me a fire extinguisher the next day. It was on me next day, fire extinguisher. And I have used it so many times. Um, I don't know. I, I love, I have so loved creating this community. If I don't gain one more subscriber, it doesn't matter. Because of our, what, 26,000? It's not 800 million zillion like y'all, but one day. Um, if I never gain another one, it doesn't matter to me because I've helped those 26,000. It could be five and it wouldn't matter. Um, and I'm sure I'm babbling at this point, but it's, it's true to our lives. That's all we can do is who we are. We're real people doing real things. We go live every day. Every day. Every day we go live every day. We make time to relate to people every day. We answer questions. It does we've done like a five hour video before. Because people had all the questions and I'm here to help people. I don't care if I've repeated the same answers a billion times. There's a new person every day. There's a new person learning this crap every day. And I want to help that person. I want to help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to help people every day. So I'm up here to just tell you the story of why all of the things that all of these brilliant people have said works. Everything that I've said, I've learned from every person that I've talked to here, whether it's existing fam, new fam, all the speakers, I've learned new things. I have a full notebook of things that I thought I knew that I had no idea. So, um, I'm just here to give you guys stories about why it works. How it works for us, it's basically what, and I even have it written out, we aren't here to tell you how to do it, we're here to tell you what works best for us. And hopefully, you take that and run with it. We're, we're not teachers, we're not, we're just here to tell you, we're you. Like, we're, we're just two normal people, like we, we just love what we do. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so we can't tell you how to be us. We don't want to tell you how to be us. Every time we have a class, we're just like, what do you want to learn today? What is it that you are having problems with? I want to help you to be the best version of what you are and what you do. And so that's what we do on every class. Oh, I was like, is that us right now? <laughs> Connecting with their audience on their daily YouTube show. Learn how Erica left corporate America. She teamed with Thornton and now the Dallas-based couple create amazing art doing what they love every single day. That's the first time I've seen that. I was so hoping that was longer. Did that happen? So, what do we... What do we want to, how are you going to do this? Like, what do you, do we have any questions? Let's, let's start with a question. I, I, this is going to be, let's do this. Of all the speakers, you're one of the only ones with the website. So why did you go from website rather than Instagram or Facebook as your main? Base? So we actually have every social media out there. We have Instagram, I have a LinkedIn. You know, it, it's not something I make a lot of money off of, but the more, um, places you're posted online are more relevant when they have to search. Like if you search resin artist, I want to be synonymous with resin art because that's what we do a lot of. He's an airbrush artist and if you're in Dallas, you probably know who he is because he's attached himself to that medium. Um, we have a website and actually it took me a year and a half to set it up. Not like that's not how long it took, but like I put it off. And the crazy thing is, if I'd have started sooner, if I had the thought and did it that day, I would have had more business. I, I wasted a year and a half 
when I should have had that website set up. And while we do have a website, we sell a lot of paint. We're like the color people. I import all of the colors from around the world, and I ship internationally. Um, and that's what basically our website is for. I want to I want to pull traffic from all of our social media to the website. That's kind of like the hub, the central. I want to have all these feelers out, and I want them to come to my website. So if we do a demo of a color on our YouTube, I don't need to make money off of that, but I want them to want that color. And they're going to come to my website to get that color. Because you can buy it from the initial source, which is in Australia or New Zealand or Austria or wherever it is. But for most people that follow us, we, our, our main demographic is the US. And then it's Canada, the UK, and Australia. So for all of our US people, you can't get a lot of the colors that we have anywhere else. I have exclusivity with a lot of my vendors, which is um, they trust me with their paint for some reason. So I want them to come to my website to buy the paint, which is what my website is for, really. Initially, I just wanted to show the artwork that he does, because he's amazing. Um, if you guys ever end up on our website, um, he, like, what is, how amazing is this, the eyes on this? That's what he does. I saw that in him, and I was like. That's when they have hair. <laughs> You have, like, that's literally, yeah. Oh, that's Moo. That's, that's our little. That's our studio pub. Um, so I started the website just to show off his artwork, and then we started carrying products. And when we post on Instagram, I always want to pull that from Instagram to the website. I want to pull from YouTube to the website. It's all about pulling to the website. I hope that answers your question. So, yeah, that's. We don't sell that many pieces of artwork off of our website. It's all about the product. We sell more artwork on our YouTube channel because we have fire sale every month because we paint every day. And so I have, I have no wall space anymore. I have paintings every, on the floor. I'm pretty sure they're in bed right now. <laughs> Anyways. I'm sure there was a point. I hope that answers your question. Um, so if you ever watch our videos, this is very much like our videos are, except for we're doing a painting. So we did this at the, the live demo at Bronson's the other night. It's, I just wanted to show people how to use paint in such a way with resin that it makes people confident to show off their artwork. I can't tell you how many people we've met so far that's like, I can't do it. I don't want to talk on a, a video. I don't want to show my face. And that's great. You don't have to. Our first videos, um, I didn't speak ever. I didn't, you didn't see me. I just put my cell phone. <laughs> and it's really funny. Most of our videos are from our cell phone before we went live, and even into the live videos. Um, but Mitch and Mike came over and was like, y'all do great. Everything you do is great. But let me help you with your videos. And they told us what cameras we needed, and they really helped us out. But you don't have to have fancy equipment. Just put your phone. We we took two like yardstick rulers and put it on I think a ladder and a tripod. Duct tape. And we duct taped my phone so it would be over what we were doing. You don't have to have all the equipment, and it works. People love it. It looked professional. <laughs> yeah, we you always saw the videos. Oh, no. the videos I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the one, Erica? We're on it. Is this the one that sold? Yeah, that's one of my first ones that sold. So pretty. Just try to get that phone call came in and then we'll and I just declined. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to have all the equipment. You don't have to show your face. No. You don't have to speak ever. Hmm. In fact, in the beginning, Jeff um, nope. Not that one. never spoke. <laughs> when he did, he was like, delete it. Okay. Really um, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Really? The cotton candy mustache? <laughs> So, okay. next one. <laughs> the one mm -hmm. thing I, that I really want to push for being an artist, for doing what you're doing right now, for <clears throat> don't put it off, don't procrastinate. Like I used to, I used to have a joke where I'd say uh, we start a band called the Procrastinators. <laughs> we have no songs. We're gonna write those later. <laughs> <laughs> we 
do that later. We'll do that tomorrow. But it brings up the, tomorrow's going to come. Tomorrow's going to come. Next week's going to come. If you say, man, I'm going to start a channel today. I'm going to do this. And then a month later, you're just like, I just said that a month ago. And I could have had 30 videos. I could have had one video. The first video is the hardest. Just the video, a painting, a picture. Just do it. Because tomorrow's going to come. And then next week's going to come. And you're going to.